Okay, kids, welcome to another video. First of all, on Sundays, we watch football. I know it's summer, but I don't know. I was feeling my Broncos today. Um, today, we're gonna do a little unboxing. So, in my quest to kind of get control of my nervous system, uh, I bought, well, I came across this device on um, the Melanie Avalon Biohacking Podcast. I think she's awesome. Um, I got into her because I'm into intermittent fasting, but we'll save intermittent fasting for another video. So this device is called the Apollo Neuro, and you can put it on your wrist or your ankle, and it's supposed to have a level of vibration that simulates human touch and helps you get out of fight or flight and helps you stay calm. So it's a wearable, so it's easy to wear around, and you keep it with you, and there's all sorts of different settings on it. So let's see what happens when you get one in the mail, probably. Okay, so, card. How to use your Apollo throughout the day, which is what I plan on doing. My boyfriend wanted to share it with me and I'm like, mm, probably never taking it off. Um, so you can kind of see what those, what times they recommend, different parts of the day. Apollo. Um, charging cable. Second strap that I assume is for like ankle versus wrist. Welcome to Apollo. So this is how I pair it. So I am gonna charge this bad boy. Okay, so my guy is all charged. So this is the screen, it says connect your Apollo. Pressed it, blinking blue light. Tap connect, connected. Let's just try one of them just so I can kind of like feel it. Ooh, it's vibrating. It's very cool. Okay, I'll tell you guys how it feels. Ooh. Yeah, it's just vibrating. Interesting. Very subtle. Well, I'm going to wear it tonight. I'm going to wear it around the house and wear it to bed. And I will update you tomorrow. I wore it last night to bed. Um, I've been wearing it on my ankle. Um, I like it better on my wrist, but it does definitely kind of get in the way. So I wore it, I put it on my ankle last night for sleep, and I went for a two-hour walk today and kept it on my ankle. Um, as far as comfort goes, it's been very comfortable. I doesn't bother me too much on my wrist a little bit, um, if I'm doing stuff, if I'm on the computer or whatever. Um, so I definitely think I'll probably end up keeping it on my ankle. Um, like so i there is a sleep setting um to put you you know it supposedly helps you um with your sleep so i did that last night wore it on my ankle and i would say i had a pretty good night of sleep i woke up very startled this morning so i was must have been in pretty deep sleep and i don't sleep very well so maybe maybe that's um I'd say the jury's still out, but it's possible. I did try the more calming one uh, last night when I felt a little agitated in the evening, and I was still a little snippy. Um, you know, we all get to the edge where we're exhausted, and we can be B words or even the next letter. Um, and I would say that I was still a little cranky, um, but uh, it does say that it's easier to obtain that state the more you use it. So I'm not, you know, I don't expect it to give me miraculous results the first day. Um, I also used it this morning. There is a kind of wake and energize version. And that was a half hour long. And that one only goes up to a half hour. Some of the more relaxing ones, I think the one I did for, that I did today, the social one that I did on my walk actually goes up to two hours. And it's just the timer, you can restart it. Um, last night's though, or this morning's, this morning's was a half hour long. So I turned it on from my phone. It was still on my ankle from the night before. And I set it for a half hour and I felt pretty good this morning. I think what will be really cool is if you could set it to start the wake up program in time with your alarm. And I'm a snooze hitter. I set my alarm so I can lay in bed for a half hour because I just don't wake up well. I'm not a morning person. I used to be, which is odd. I, when I was in college, I would get up at 6 a.m. even if I was out the night before and do yoga and 
get going. So that would be a really cool feature. And I'm actually gonna see if I can maybe rig that. I know I can set a program to open, I believe, on my iPhone, but I'm not sure I can get, I'm not sure I can get it to actually play. Cause you have to hit play to start the program. But I'm gonna see if I can hack around that. Clear and focus can help with athletic performance. So I changed to that one during yoga. I felt really good when I did it. I actually felt kind of centered with yoga. I still struggle staying centered with yoga. I really like Kundalini because I think the breathing keeps me really centered, but vinyasa is kind of not my deal. But I do feel really good when I do it. I think it's great for strength and mind centering. And I also think the fact that I'm not great at it means I should keep going. It's probably something I should improve on. There is a meditation and mindfulness um, setting that I did during my meditation. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I could see that as something to be used beforehand, but, well, also, I used this and I have a Nirvana, which is an earpiece that you put in your ear, which sends electrical impulses through and it's supposed to stimulate your vagus nerve to stimulate dopamine which keeps you calm and makes you feel safe i use both it was a little bit much i don't think i will do that again i think my regular meditation is just fine i don't think i will use both devices together again ever either I think that was just a little too much. I've got vibrating on my ankle and I've got pulsing in my ear and it was... So you can control the intensity. And it suggests when you're getting started that you just do between 20 and 40. The sleep can be higher, but the other ones should stay around 20 and 40. And normally I'm just ready to break through that and be like, nah, nah, nah. But it really is a little distracting when it's too high. So I've been keeping it pretty low. I've been keeping everything around 20. It kind of makes me feel like I have room to grow. I don't really have a good reason for thinking that, but it does kind of give me that impression that as I get more used to it, I can turn it up and maybe it's more effective. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just, you know, I'm just so used to things being more is better. One of the things the psychiatrist that um, invented this came said is that it can help you feel uh, safer in the moment and some and the vibrations do that because it kind of simulates human touch or has some similar effect. I am not a touchy person, so I kind of was on the fence as to whether or not this was really something that would help me and would actually make me feel better. But so far so good. It hasn't bothered me. I didn't I don't feel uncomfortable by it. Right now I think it's kind of a neat device. I feel great today. I might still be on my high from my three-day water fast and meditation retreat. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have a little bit better idea. I'm also going to stop confounding my results with any other devices. <laughs> so I actually have an idea of whether or not I like this. So thanks guys for watching my second video. Uh, stay tuned for more on the Apollo Neuro as I develop a more educated opinion. So as I will say every time, like and subscribe. Check out more information on the Apollo Neuro and have a great rest of your day.